me. And today we're gonna be checking out some of the cheapest moms of all time. Only OGs will remember these. Here we have the queen herself, the cheapest of the cheap moms. Wow, Chloe. What is that? Kids sleep toys all the time. If they're unclaimed, why not pick them up and take it home with you? Because they're free. They're free, but they're free. COVID is also free. This was before all that, but still equally as disgusting. Mother, I don't even like cars. It only has two wheels. It was abandoned for a reason. Barbie can't even ride this. It's really fine. We just wash it off and it's clean. It's missing two wheels. She could still play with it, Vic. Disabled cargo, brr. She can still play with it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it to bonk my mother on the head for giving me this garbage. This is relevant because wipes have been sold out everywhere. I mean, I still still can't get disinfectant wipes anywhere. And she making them at home. Okay, it was a little sloppy. There you go, you have moist towelettes. This is totally reusable still, so I use the wipe to wipe her bum with. Wait, 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 did she just say? She wipes the dirty table with her homemade wipes. And then it's like, ah, but, 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 but wait, it's not even dirty yet. Our, my kitchen table, my kitchen counter. I'm gonna use it to wipe my daughter after. Disgusting! CEO of filth over here. Apparently germs don't exist if you don't believe in them. I saves her 50 cents a day for six diaper changes. She saved 50 cents a day for all of this trouble. I do believe that laundry detergent does run a scam on people. I learned how to conserve my detergent by using the amount that I put inside of the syringe. It weighs out correctly. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you just measure laundry detergent in a syringe? You could have just poured just a teeny tiny drop. These people go on like the extra mile for literally an extra penny. Oh, but you know what? I am impressed that she's actually using the washer and dryer because a lot of cheapskates, they don't. That's just a big no-no for them. Using extra electricity and water, never heard of her. I collect lint from the dryer. First off, because it's clean. So I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. I'm using the lint right now to apply my compact. I was gonna say, that's disgusting. Thing. But you see her clear skin. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's drier lint. I am not worried about how sanitized lint is if the clothes have been dried and ran through the washer and they've been washed, therefore the lint is clean itself. CEO of clean lint right here. Your man's ever got some in his belly button? Pop that out, add it to the pile. I ain't even worried about it. I'm gonna wash my face later. Have y'all literally not heard of the dollar store? You could go get like a month's supply of brand new fresh clean cotton balls. One dollar. But you gonna put yourself through all this. For what? Stephanie has a good job. She works at a doctor's office. She does have a lot of money saved up. She doesn't want to spend Nothing. What drives me insane is most of these people actually have money. Like, she works in a doctor's office. She has a good job. And yet, she gonna make herself live like this. Are you guys ever gonna spend it? Or are you just gonna die with a lump of money? This is my reusable boiling water. Ugh, I'm sorry, what? This is my reusable boiling water. I ain't never heard of anybody reusing their boiling water. Like, yeah, you could reuse your oil, but she's taking it a step further. Reuse my water. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my water bill by cutting on the water and putting more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So that saves my water. Lunch time. Come on. Ain't nobody has a clue. Why should be the only one that was like, uh, I'm gonna get takeout. I ain't eating this. I love me some pasta cooked in some chunky boiling water. Come on now. When are you gonna change that water? I'll change it in due time. Just don't rush me, because the more you ask me that, the longer I have to keep it. Well, excuse me. What's she gonna do when her husband just dumps her precious boiling water? Like, we had enough of this. I am able to make the most of every food and drink that we have in this house. She really put that nasty, chunky, extra ranch back in the bottle with a dirty fork. Bro, this is how mold spawns. Gross. <laughs> If it doesn't get all drunk up, I pour it back. If it doesn't get all slopped up, I put it back in its container. How about you give them less food? What is a whole tablespoon of extra tomato sauce gonna do? Is it really that necessary to be this frugal? That's gonna make a huge difference in your quality of life. Is what I don't get. It's, it's not worth it. My bananas? I'm not gonna eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana itself. By removing the peels, pits, and stems from fruits and vegetables before they're weighted the register. Ah, she really peeled a 
banana. I'm not eating the peel. I'm not gonna pay for it. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to think she's trolling, but she dead serious. By any chance, if you have any other ground beef that's already left over. It's all sold. We sell it on a daily basis fresh all the time. Okay, and so there's nothing that would expire? Oh, no, man. We don't, to expire. No, man. We don't sell expired product here. She really asked this dude for some expired meat. Yeah, I don't want to pay full price for the ground beef. I don't care what my family eats as long as they eat something. Zero hex given. This is the dumbest way to be a cheapskate. 1.97. And how much is that? $2.50. Man. I will take the beef fat. You'll take the beef fat. I'm satisfied with that. You could have paid $5, that's it, for some nice ground beef. Like, dang, go to Walmart. We eat beef fat tonight. I'm going to stretch out the beef by adding the rest to stretch it out for the lasagna. By supplementing the meat with the beef fat, Stephanie saved 75% on the ingredients for her lasagna. Oh. That's nasty. I thought that was cauliflower. What does that taste like? It's just yucky parts? How is it edible? This is why we save the sauce. Mm -mm. Oh, but you're gonna be extra generous with the cheese. I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. Y'all thought it couldn't get worse, but she gonna cook her lasagna in the dishwasher. Make it real moist. Is it even gonna cook? It's gonna steam it. Gotta make sure I wrap it really well or else the food will get wet. Some tells me I don't think she's gonna care if it gets wet. The lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours without using the additional gas of an oven. I just might put these dishes in here while I'm in. The lasagna's in the dishwasher and it's cooking. Her husband in the other room like, what? She said the lasagna is in the dishwasher, but what are we eating tonight? A quarter. My kids are total cheapskates. They know we don't waste anything. You eat every bite of food on your plate, pick up every penny you see. Cause she look a little too privileged to be a cheapskate. You see, she lives in a really nice house, but this is how she does it. A typical family of five can spend up to $3,000 a month on household necessities. But Jordan, a 27-year-old housewife, spends less than half of that. 27 years old? We're the same age? Thanks for reminding me how behind I am in life. The juice, we water it down big time. One part juice to five parts water. We're gonna give you 14, so tell me when to stop. Ready? She's really gonna count out 14 Cheerios to give to her child. He a growing boy. Only 14 Cheerios and some watered down apple juice for you. So that's how her secret starved the children. And remember, you need to eat all your Cheerios or next time you only get 12. Make sure you eat all 14. Next time you only get 12. But mother, I'm still hungry. You know the drill, only 12 Cheerios. This is breast milk here and we love it because it's free. While they're young and they don't eat very much, I freeze as much breast milk as possible so that when they're done, then I still have a few months worth frozen to stretch it. Oh man, nothing better than free. Opens up her freezer. I got a whole freezer of breast milk. Y'all be eating free for a while. I love bacon. Yeah. Bacon's for Christmas. Bacon's for Christmas, bro. I can go to the store and buy like a two dollar pack of bacon. What do you mean bacon's for Christmas? How disappointing. When y'all want a five star meal, go on down to Denny's. How much toilet paper do you think the hut should have? Jordan has found some of the biggest savings in the bathroom, cutting her family's use of toilet paper from 300 rolls a year to only 40. 40 rolls a year! That's like two packs of the Costco toilet paper for a, a, a whole family? Man, we go through that in like two months. The price you pay for two ply. How much do you think daddy should use? Um, four. Jordan always harps on me for using too much toilet paper. Hey, let's try it. It's a sensitive subject. Daddy gets four pieces of toilet paper. Well, heck. I don't think you're gonna be needing much if you're gonna be eating 12 Cheerios for breakfast. But you see when daddy has Taco Bell, that's a different story. People in jail don't even live like this. You only get four slices of toilet paper. There's gotta be better ways to save money. Four. Awesome, okay now put that under daddy's. Y'all must really have nothing to do all day. To have all the time to count out Cheerios. Do my daily toilet paper check. So far, not impressed with your money saving methods. So she basically lives in a mansion. Saving measures allowed them to purchase a million dollar home. No! She lives in a million dollar house. We're gonna think her toilet paper saving methods couldn't have done it without you. This don't I don't care what you tell me. The original owners bought it for over a million and we got it on short sale for about 450,000. Then we were scrappy and we sold the basement apartment to my parents. So we paid 225 for this huge, huge house. So she got her 
house on a short sale for half of a million dollars and then sold half of the house, the bottom half, to her parents. Parents living in the basement? Wait, shouldn't it be the other way around? I never seen no parents live in a basement. That was pretty smart. You did good. I will give you that. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below the cheapest thing your mom has ever done. And if you guys want more of these videos, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.